vlogging. It's getting there. Okay. All right. Hi everyone, it's me, Rebecca Zostek. Thank you so much for logging on today and checking out this class. It is improving your strength and stability. Okay, so basically geared for anyone, uh, targeted for anyone that is looking to improve your balance. Okay, so there's really no age set to that exactly, but improving your balance could be for anyone and also your strength. Okay, so I hope you get a lot out of this class. What I'm gonna use today is a chair. If you're in an area that you don't have a chair available, you can just hold onto the wall or a kitchen counter, something that will give you some stability if you really need it. Also, I'm using uh, two cans of, I don't know, maybe it's soup, but uh, <laughs> two cans of something to give you a little bit of a load on the muscles. You can also use weights, of course, a light set of weights would be great. And then also I have a special tool today. So in the past, I've used a, a towel, a small hand towel. Today I'm gonna to use a bathrobe rope, okay? Because it is longer and we can get more extension. We can really work really great um, stretches with it too, okay? So if you need to pause me now, go ahead and do that and uh, get your equipment ready. So let's get started with the warm up. I'm gonna start the music really low in the background so we can get some movement going on and get ourselves warm, okay? So let's get that going. And, all right guys, just a sec. I'm right here, here we go. Okay, so standing with your legs nice and wide. Take a nice deep breath, inhale and exhale, pressing your arms down. Again, inhale and exhale. One more time and exhale. Take your uh, right arm up and over. Yeah. 
lower slow. Up, down. So what I have going on here is a 40 second uh, interval. Okay, so we're practicing the movement for 40 seconds. And then we're gonna take a 20 second break, okay? And I want you to keep moving. So right here, we're moving and marching, okay? I think the music's a little bit loud, what do you think? I don't know, I can't tell. So I'm just gonna lower it a bit. Okay. All right, you guys. I see you out there. I know I have a few of you out there watching right now. I thank you. Next exercise. We're on the tight wire. Come back up a little bit. I'd like you to put one foot in front of the other, just like that. Okay, hold and just squeeze your inner thighs together. And imagine now you have those weights. You're gonna pull up and down. Up and down. This is your bicep curl. We're gonna get those hands going in just a moment. One more. And now let's switch legs. Okay, so switch legs. Opposite foot in front. And pull up. All right. So standing in tandem just like this is forcing you to fire the core muscles to keep you stable. Let's go ahead and grab the weights, okay? Here we go, one foot in front of the other. We're getting ready, we have the weights. Open up your chest, squeeze your thighs together. Hold on, we're balancing, right? Okay, and here we go, lifting the weights up and down, up and down. So we're gonna do six repetitions here, and there's three, okay? Four, okay, we've got our routine now. One more, and now let's change legs. So the back foot comes in front, and continue, bicep curl, up and down. Keep your chest lifted, your belly tight. Now, if this is a little challenging with your feet like this, you can separate them out just a tad to give you a little more support, a little more stability, okay? Here we go, up and down. And rest, okay. So you see me coming in and out of the frame, I'm just making adjustments to the music, um, to the screen and that sort of thing, but I try to do it within the break time. And we're supposed to keep moving right here, right? Okay, our next one. Now, this one's a little tricky. I'm gonna move the chair. All right, watch out right here. You have your left foot in front. You're gonna bring your right knee up, right knee up, extend the leg, bend the leg, put it behind you, and now look over your right shoulder like you, you hurt somebody, right? This is called functional, okay, again. Lift up, balance, extend the leg, bring it back, put it down behind you, and look over your right shoulder. Hello, like someone's calling you, right? Because this throws your balance off when you're suddenly having to adjust your body at a, a split moment. Okay, let's try again. Knee, extend, knee, place it down, and look over the shoulder. Okay, we're gonna try the other side. So if that was your left knee, you're gonna change to the right knee. That was my left. Now I'm gonna change legs, so get ready for that. Okay, are you ready? We're ready. This is a tricky one. All right, balance drill, abs tight, lift the chest up. Here we go, bring it up, extend, bring it back in, place the foot down, and look over your shoulder. Okay, stay tight with that core. And up, extend. Oh, it's raining now. <laughs> I can see that now. Okay. Extend. I want you to think solid body, solid body, twist. Okay, again, up. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and grab your weights. Take your right foot out in front of you, okay? So remember, we want to make sure that we're cognizant, that we're aware of our core. So keep the belly tight, everything lifts up and then right back down. Now, if this is a little bit challenging, you're like, mm, I'm not sure about that. Just lift the foot a little bit and just bring the arms out a little bit, okay? So we progress into the movement, training your muscles. Again, if it's a little bit much with the weights, go ahead and set them down, okay? Up and down, up and down. Okay, we've got it. Good job, keep it going. Of course, you know what's coming, right? We have to do the other side, but not yet. Let's march in 
with our weights. March around, march around. Okay. I feel like we're settled in now. We're settled into the workout. Feeling good? We're warm. And now here we go with the opposite leg. So your left foot's out in front. And now we're gonna lift the arms out to the side again. And it's 40 seconds. Please be sure you're safe. Be near a chair or a wall. Up and down. Look straight out and focus. Nice job, everyone. Up and down. Good. Up and down. How are we doing? I know you said you're doing great. Okay. Good. Up and down. Stay strong. Just a couple seconds. One more. And rest. Okay, let's go to your back row rope now, okay? Back row rope, and what we're gonna do is a uh, single leg lift, okay? So, you're gonna hold the strap out in front of you. This gives you kind of some leverage, okay? So you have a little support, more space in front of you. Take your right leg out, now we're gonna lift the leg up to the side, and back down. Up, and back down, good. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. I'm watching the comments right now, so I can assist you. If you have something that you wanna ask me, please do so, okay? Good, keep this going. We're staying here on the same side. Just a few more. Up, breathe, relax your shoulders. Stay with me. Okay, watch out now. That right foot, we're gonna hold it up right here. Oh, hold it up, bring the arms up. Hold on, if this is too much, you just monitor and hold it. Three, two, one, and bringing it down. Ooh, nice work on that one. Marching it out. I'm already starting to feel the work here, yeah. Okay, arms out in front of you, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Breathe it out. Okay, so what we want to try to do here also is stay anchored in that right foot. Okay, so it's sort of cemented into the floor. I know, I like to use that analogy because it really makes sense that we're pushing down into the floor. Pushing down. Give me two more. Up. Now get ready, we're gonna hold it up, get ready, and let's go, hold it up. Woo, stay there. Stay with me, stay lifted, stay lifted. Good, four more, three, two, and one. Release, Ooh, you feel that in the hips, right? Keep moving now. The next one we have, your arms are out in front of you, you're gonna take your right foot back behind you. You're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, if you need to, okay, it's perfectly fine. We can let go of the rope and just hold on to a chair. Okay, what we're trying to do here is activate the glute muscles. These are your push st uh, stability muscles, right? They give us a lot of stability. If you feel that you would like the challenge, it can talk right now. If you like the challenge with your arms up in front of you, you can absolutely do that, okay? Try the other side. Getting ready for that. And we're moving. We're moving. Woo! All right, here we go. Now, your opposite leg is back. Arms are out in front of you. Hold the chair if you need to, okay? And let's go. Balance. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. What really helps is pulling that belly in tight. Breathe. You got it. Stay strong. Take your time. We have about 10 seconds on this. Take your time. If you need a little break, go ahead and take it. And rest. Let's do a balance drill now, okay? Again, use your chair if you need to. In fact, I will do the first couple with the chair. And so what we're gonna do is 
your arms are going to go forward as one leg goes out. We're going to hold it for five beats, okay? And here we go. So hold the chair. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming up. Try the other side. And hold. See if you can play with this and release your hands occasionally. Good. And change.
need to hold the chair, you're holding the chair. Okay, stay right there. Look over your uh, left shoulder or look to the left. Bring it back and lower, okay? Shake it out, let's try the other side. Lift and hold it. And look to your right, oh. Bring it back and down. You got it now. Up, to turn. Okay, one more. Up. I'm just gonna show you this again using the chair. Okay, so if I'm holding the chair, my hands are here in front. Lift up, turn. I'm already looking at you, so. Okay, and then one more, turn. So that's really what it would look like there. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna practice that move one more time. So give it another shot. Start with the chair. I'll turn myself this way so we can see the chair here. I don't know if you can see me really well. So lift up onto the heels, look to the left, bring it forward and lower. And lift and right and center, okay? Do you still need the chair? Yes, then keep your hands there. If you want to try without the chair, here you go. And lift up and turn. I'm just gonna move out of the chair frame there. Up and lower and lift. Good, keep it going. Up onto the toes. Look to your right. Stay tight and rest. Okay, very nice everyone. I'm just gonna turn this down just a tad more, grab a sip of water. And so um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit more information and a little bit more of a balanced drill. Okay, just a tad more. So what happens normally when we are, when we are losing a little bit of muscle, there's not enough strength to hold that bone structure. I know I've said this before, but there's not enough, enough I can't talk today. There's not enough muscle strength to hold up the bone structure. So super important to just grab some, you know, cans like this or some water bottles. Um, purchase a small set of weights that you can get at any store, Walmart, uh, wherever, and just do something. Just use those weights and work on strengthening that body. I'm gonna do one more exercise here. So what I'd like you to do is take one foot out in front of you and lift it off the floor if that's possible. We're gonna just shift the arms one at a time, okay, up over your head towards the ceiling. Make sure your supporting leg is a little bit bent, okay, it has a slight give to it. Here, if I turn this way, maybe you can see a little bit better in that leg. Up and down, and up and down, right in the belly up, keep your chest up. And let's just do uh, four more. So there's four, and three, and two, and one, and rest. All right, so same thing, but we're gonna change legs. Let's get ready for that one. So standing on the opposite leg, okay? Bring that foot off the floor. Again, if this is a little bit too much, make sure you're near a chair if you need to grab onto it, okay? So bring your arms up, keep your chest lifted, one arm at a time, okay? So this requires your core to activate to keep you stable, okay? Good, I know you're doing this with me. Here we go. And up, push, push. These little cans actually work really well. And up, good. Let's do four more. And here we go, stay strong. Four, three, whoop, two, there I go. One, okay, got distracted. Okay, stuff going on under. Nice work, everyone. Go ahead and set those weights down. And let's just take a few uh, moments here to just stretch. So open up the legs nice and wide. Press the knees back as you come down into this plie. Clasp your hands in front of you and round out your back. So tuck the belly in, round out the back. Inhale and exhale. And now bringing the arms up and down and coming up. Let's try that again. So sink down into this nice little squat, clasp your hands in front, round out your back, and lift up, and press your arms down. One more time, okay? So come down, stretch out the lower back, low back. This time, come up and stay here, stay here, and tilt yourself over to one side, okay? Hold that stretch right there, hold it, breathe, 
and bring it back center, keeping the arms up. Let's go to the other side and stretch. And bring it back center and arms float down. Nice big inhale, reach up and exhale. Ooh, face your chair right here, bringing your arms up. Inhale here, exhale, you reach for the seat of the chair, or maybe it's the sofa, or if it's the counter, whatever it is. Just reaching for it and kind of just push your hips back a little bit. So you get a nice hamstring stretch. Good. And you're also getting a nice stretch through the lats right here. Bend the legs and rolling up. And inhale and exhale. Coming forward, hands on the seat of the chair, the counter, whatever it is. Bend the legs and push and roll up. All right, well, today's class was a little different than what I've been doing before. Some of the same exercises, but we'll, you know, I'll, we'll progress. We'll do some different things here and there, but also keep training some of those exercises that we've been working on, okay? I hope you enjoyed the class. Please let me know uh, if there's other exercises that you would like me to do. That would be great to know from you. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you next Wednesday for this uh, strength and stability class at 10 a.m. And then also Friday at 10 a.m. for boot camp. So have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.